What's happening, YouTube? Today I'm back at you with a new one. And I was just watching some old school TV show, happened to see the Jefferson, and I thought, why don't I try to sample that and see if I can come up with something out of that theme song? Follow me. I think we're about to have some fun today. But before we get into this video, I have to let you know that this video is sponsored by DistroKid. With DistroKid, for $19.99 per year, you can upload as many songs as you can create across all streaming platforms. This includes Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, YouTube, and many more. As of right now, in 2019, DistroKid is the best digital distribution platform. If you want your music to be heard, if you want it everywhere, DistroKid is the place to go. They hooked me up, so I'm hooking you up. So if you use this link right here, it will also be in the description. It will save you 7% on your first year with DistroKid. Sign up, put your music out there, give it to everybody to hear. Now let's get into the video. Now I'm in the MPC software. As always, I have the sampler open. And um, we're about to sample this uh, Jefferson's theme song and see what we can do with it. Hopefully it'll be fun. Hopefully it'll turn out good. If it doesn't, it was still fun making it. Changed my length to about, uh, let's go with a, a minute and 20 seconds. Have my threshold set. So automatic, arm it. Well, we're moving on now. Moving on now. To the east side. And there we have it. We gonna keep it. Uh, move on to the sample editor. Process it. First thing we wanna do is normalize it. Do it. And give us a nice thick signal to work with. And now we got something we can get started with. Like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I have absolutely no idea, but we figure it out as we go. I'm gonna do a manual chops. I don't really want to do thresholds. I'm gonna try to get as much out of this as I can. Uh, I'm trying to come up with some unique samples. You know how I do. Where we're moving on now. We're moving on. Where we're moving on now. We're moving on now. To
Okay, new program using pad parameters. Now I'm gonna show y'all some of the secrets I use. Cause like I said, I'm I'm not that keen at uh knowing what the key of a song is or the pitch of a sample and all that. Uh, like I said, I can figure it out, pitch stuff up and down until it maps, which I do sometimes. But right now, I'm going to my trusty secret weapon, and that is Serato Sample. Now, why do I call this my secret weapon? Again, it's because, as you already know, Serato Sample can automatically detect the pitch and key of a sample. So I'm going to drop this in a Serato Sample. And it'll kick out the pitch and key of the sound for me. So it's saying it's in A flat minor. And now that I know that it's in A flat minor, I can uh, set the MPC accordingly. So that way, when I pitch it or if I change it, I can make sure everything is matching across the board. And that's pretty much all I use Serato Sample for here lately. I haven't used it for anything else other than telling me what the key of a song is. And now I go to Pad Perform. I set it to G sharp minor, which is the same as A flat minor. Just so you know, how do I know uh, G sharp minor is the same as A flat minor? It's not because I'm a music theory genius or nothing like that. I happen to have all my keyboards labeled with the uh, the notes across all the keys because I don't have a memorizer or anything like that, and from time to time, I use it as a reference. Complete amateur, I know. <laughs> it is what it is. And just so you know, like I said, a keyboard or a piano was not my instrumental choice uh, coming up. Uh, when I first started out as a band member, and I played in a band for a lot of years, uh, my instrumental choice was a saxophone. It's a lot different than playing a piano. In hindsight, I kind of wish I would have learned piano, uh, but I played the saxophone, so I kind of wing it. All right, now, back to the sound. Okay, so I set the tempo to about 80. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can pull up uh, some drum, like a live drum set. That's just kind of I'm thinking something like a uh, live sounding, live band sounding kick and snare. All right, let's get started. Uh, Layer this drum beat in here. Let me take this down to four bar. I usually do eight. I don't think I'm gonna do four this time. Wish me luck, y'all. All right, we got our drums down. I know that's basic, but we're gonna build on that later on. Let's get back to this sample. Well, we're moving on. I can't wait to hear how this come out. Let's do it. got that <clears throat> I kind of don't like where the sample is sitting uh, I like what I play but I don't really like where it's sitting at so I'm gonna pitch it see if I can find something I like
some reason that kind of works for me. I don't know why, but it works. I think I can do something with that. It's weird, but we'll see. So we pitched it down 15 semitones, which is crazy. And from counting down 15 notes on the keys, that gives me an F minor. So I'm going to go and pad perform, set everything to F minor. And that's what we're going to work with for the rest of the time we're making this beat. That's pretty much how I uh, make sure that I keep everything uh, in key when I'm working in the MPC. It's cheating, I know. It's cheating. All right. We're going to layer some hi-hats over this. sound almost like some Star Wars or something in the background. But that's what happens when you manipulate samples. Sometimes you make something crazy. Okay, now that we got this, uh, I'm kind of going to use this as a base. I might lay a little extra under it, but I'm going to mostly use this for a base, so I'm not going to EQ the base out of it. I'm going to leave it as is. And now I'll try to see if we can find something to put on top of it. see what else we got inside this VST. See if we can find something. Uh, I want something to sound a little stronger. Quick 808, and I think we're going to be done. Thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all.